Just minutes after opening, the student bookstore was already full of hungry fans, eating up any green they could get their hands on. You can always use more green and white. Our closet's about halfway full yeah. and needs more. The season may be over, but the spirit here doesn't stop. I'll be wearing green and white tomorrow, no matter what. <laughs> They're fiercely loyal, so win, lose, or draw, they're still going to be Spartan fans and they're still going to be proud of the boys in the season that they had. All season, that pride has bagged even bigger profits here in a year that will be remembered for huge sales from the Rose Bowl. And we're still selling it because people still are excited about it because it was such a great season and such a great win. It's great to have that memorabilia right on the spot. Andy Barron went to Pasadena and knew exactly what he wanted when he came back. The first thing we did was look for t-shirts. You want to show your pride. People just had a demand for product, Michigan State Rose Bowl product. I mean, they needed it, they wanted it, and we had it. And it's the same with basketball. People will be disappointed, but it's still been an amazing year. I mean, to finish in the top eight in the country um, with the number of injuries and the problems they had with the team this year, I mean, you still got to be proud of the Spartans. For the student bookstore, those Spartans are the dependable thing. It's been a great season, and it's a great class that Izzo's had, so no reason not to celebrate. And you can imagine how stores feel about that. In East Lansing, Lauren Fultenberg, Fox 47 News. Lauren Fultenberg tonight on the impact all those sales, win or lose, have had on the local economy. The Spartans lost by six points. Michigan lost by just three. It was an incredible day of games.